I would like to thank you, sir, and all the speed faculty, sir, for creating such a amazing content and a platform. And not just the faculty, sir, also the the support team, sir. Support team has also been really helpful. They used to solve any query, whatever. Whenever time you text them, within a day they would solve all the query. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute. to dr ashish sanjay choudhury for scoring a very good rank of rank number 57 in dm medical group in a super specialty exam of uh, neat ss 2024 congratulations to you doctor thanks a lot sir thank you great now can we know your brief background history from where you started till date what all you have done sure sir sure sir i am dr ashish sanjay choudhury i am <laughs> from maharashtra i did my mbbs from cgs medical college and km hospital i finished my md from aims great What superficiality you're interested in? Uh, sir, I'm interested in clinical immunology and rheumatology. Very good. Why that special interest? Who inspired you? From where you got it? Uh, sir, actually, we have a department at our college also, so I was a bit fascinated by it, and I was more inclined towards the analytical part of medicine. So I didn't want to jump into investigation. Rather, I would wanted to stay as close to medicine and like take a branch which is more closer to it. So that is why I have developed my interest in clinical immunology and rheumatology. Very good, well said. And uh, people who want to do extended internal medicine, they either do rheumatology, immunology, or endocrinology. Yes, and very so good. Those two are my initial two preferences. <laughs> very nice. So, can we know once you decided to do superficiality from that date till date, what all you have done and to achieve this rank, and what was your preparation strategy? Sure, sir. Uh, sir, my preparation strategy spanned around three months. I started uh, reading seriously for uh, NEET assess from December to January. Uh, during the course, sir, initially before even starting reading anything, first thing I did was uh, I gone through all the videos on YouTube regarding all the previous topper. So at least for five six days, I watched all the videos of all the topper. Sir, I did it because this way I could uh, gain some objectivity regarding how much I have to read, how much how much test and how much revision I've the toppers done before. So, like according to them, I saw and I got a rough estimate of how much work effort I had to put in, and then I tailored my plan towards myself. I knew I was not a sir very fast reader; I am a slow reader, but I retain good. So, uh, after seeing so many videos of so many topper, I had a brief idea in mind. If I finish all the speed videos and revise it twice and give ten grand tests, so I would be through. All the toppers have been through doing this much amount, so I set it as my target of clear, of clearing at least this much amount of things. So after that, I started watching all the speed videos, sir. Uh, speed videos, I've watched it and revised it twice. Videos also have seen it twice. All the speed videos, sir. The speed videos are sir very good. It has been taken in great detail by all the good faculties, uh, sir. And one point I would like to highlight was speed was my major source of preparation. I didn't refer to Harrison as much during my preparation days. I have read it before. But uh, I would like to highlight this to anyone preparing for a, a NEET SS or ENS exam. Also, the speed faculty has taken care of it. So even if we don't open the Harrison book, all of the data will be covered, and it will be covered in a better manner. So even if we read it from line to line, obviously faculty reading it would be more productive. So I would advise anyone to directly stick to the videos and the notes. Uh, and also, sir, I think uh, you and the faculty had already predicted it. Uh, the level of the exam might be quite superior. Though speed always usually covers more content than that is required. So this time the exam was quite a, quite on a tougher side, but still speed videos had covered uh, it, and uh, like I was really, I was able to solve all the question because of the speed content what was provided. So so that was the video and the revision strategy I did. And so regarding grand test, I had given almost ten to eleven grand tests. Sir. Uh, and each grand test, I what I used to do, I used to make a notebook. I have written out all the mistakes I have made. So after giving ten per ten test, I have exhausted a complete notebook. And even before the day of exam, uh, I have just revised those questions wrong. Sir, my whole idea was that he, not to make the questions wrong, which I have already made it wrong. Uh, I have done that thing, sir. And uh, quite before the day before the exam, I had my strategy plan devised. He, how should be it? Like few days before the exam, only they had few days before the exam, they have changed the pattern of the question paper. Imagine all the worst possible scenario day before, not in a negative way, but how to tackle them. So I had a prefix plan uh, in my mind only. So there were fifty uh, questions. So I had in my mind for every ten minutes I used to see a timer. If I could not solve twelve, ten to fifteen question in those ten minutes, I would just skip it. So eventually my plan was to solve all the thirty questions, uh, all the fifty question once in a thirty minutes. So I had uh, done that strategy, and what was really helpful. So revising the next question which were remaining, uh, it helped me a lot. 
and sir questions were a bit lengthy and tough but i had a strategy so i could finish it on time and i had decided to attend all the questions aggressively so it was never i was always attempting as many questions as possible sir <laughs> very very detailed very detailed very happy so who recommended speed up to you uh, sir speed again my colleagues only sir two and three of my colleagues sir they are rank holders they are in aims delhi so like i they have recommended me speed up and i'm grateful of using very speed up it has been very helpful for me oh. so how did you utilize the speed up because uh, the kind of arrangement in the speed up uh, will be of different sessions multiple faculties different faculties what all you yes, did yes, for uh, the main thing uh, if someone new starts to the speed up yeah. he'll feel overwhelmed because there's a uh, too many videos to watch so what my suggestion is ki stick to one year matlab sir there are one live videos being recorded uh, all the videos have been recorded for the previous year and the live videos are being recorded initially so what my suggestion would be the last year which all the videos are recorded I you I have finished it because I was preparing fully so I didn't have a time constraint so I finished all the videos previous year videos and the new videos which were recorded if there was some extra topic or if if it was as in a previous year I used to refer to the new lively recorded videos else my mode of preparation was the previous year videos only sir which were already recorded so did you go through this uh, high yield series uh pyqs and the the kind of things which are before the exam yes sir PY, uh, pyq i did went it through times for which was uh, for the subjects which i was running short of revision but my main so my main goal was to finish all the main videos twice which i did it but like so two three subjects because of the time constraint i couldn't finish those i have used it through pyq sir pyq videos are also sir very good uh, sir and those are actually more than pyq sir like those videos <laughs> are even they like if someone has very less amount of time even if we finish all those video pyq videos it will be matlab more than enough for cracking the exam right wonderful now when you are preparing you would have thought okay this i should say for prepare friends or preparing this i should have done not done this i need to tell someone now this time for you you can tell to yes, students sir. watching this uh, yes sir uh, sir regarding throughout the course of the preparation period journey every day matlab uh, we won't be able to meet our goals every day but the thing is to be consistent and keep on doing whatever you want to do so it's fine like even if you skip for one to two days like if you are not feeling like reading you can just always go out to friends chill out like get refreshed and then again restart reading and sir regarding i would also like to advise ki sir give as many test as possible and as many revision as possible if it's uh, i would also like to highlight it sir ki if someone is a slow reader that means fine like even if you don't do five revisions the content the quality of revision matters so even if you do it twice it's more than enough if someone is a very fast reader you can finish it multiple times and regarding grant test sir i would like to say like attempt as many grant test as possible uh, don't get disheartened by the score initially everyone gets a very bad score but throughout the tenure throughout the tenure your scores will improve sir the idea is not to get a good score if you are getting a good score in gt that's a well and fine if you are getting a bad score uh, the idea is to get as many bad score as possible so that you have exhausted all the options so you know all the ways you can make it bad so you need to perform only on the one day of the exam so if you know how like how many times you can things can go wrong so probably in the exam you will avoid those thing and make it better right now time to thank whom all you want to thank from day 1 till date who have been with you who have been uh, helping you to achieve what you are today time to thank you sir platform sir so first and foremost i would like to thank my grandparents sir my grandfather and grandmother they are my source of inspiration and idol to me sir second i would also like to thank my brother my mother and sister sir i was not working anywhere i was full at home only preparing full time they have been really supportive of me and then uh, provided me uh, then i am always uh, thankful to all the family members and also i am thankful to all my friends who have been there and who have also guided me to to go through this process so last but not the least i would like to thank you sir and all the speed faculty sir for creating such a amazing content and a platform and not just the faculty sir also the the support team sir focus support team have also been really helpful they used to solve any query whatever whenever time you text them within a day they would solve all the query okay great to know <laughs> wonderful words i think all the people whom you are thanked they will be very happy at looking at this video <laughs> once again uh, i wish you all the very best and all the success and to you. achieve your dm superficiality of rheumatology and immunology uh, as your dream specialty and the reality is coming in definitely you will be happy and you'll be serving thousands lakhs and millions of patients coming to your service best wishes in advance and you'll do great all the best to you
थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू